To change your insulin cartridge infusion set and tubing, first you need to gather all of your supplies. You will need a filled insulin cartridge, your infusion set, your eyelet connect, and an alcohol swab. The first step is to prepare your tubing. Open your infusion set package by pulling on the white tab in the corner. Your contact detach infusion set comes in two pieces. One has long tubing and one has short tubing. You need to connect these two pieces. To connect them, first locate the end of the long tubing that has a circular plastic piece on it. Gently squeeze the sides of the plastic piece and pull it straight to remove the cover. Discard the cover. To connect to the infusion set, gently push the end of the tubing into the plastic housing of the infusion set anchor. The tubing will only connect in one direction, so if it's not going in, flip the end of the tubing over and try again. Make sure to push the tubing straight into the anchor, not at an angle. You'll hear it click when it is fully snapped in place. Now your two pieces of tubing are connected. Locate the lure lock connector at the end of the tubing. Open your eyelet connect package and connect the eyelet connect and the end of your tubing together by twisting one onto the other. Make sure this connection is straight and tight. If this connection is not straight or tight, insulin can leak out causing hyperglycemia or air can get in and push insulin into your body, causing glucose to go severely low. Once the eyelet connect is securely attached, your tubing is prepared. Do not connect your eyelet connect to your insulin cartridge yet. Remove your old cartridge and tubing from the eyelet. Do not insert your new cartridge until your eyelet has completed the rewind process. This could damage your eyelet and insulin cartridge, as well as accidentally push insulin through the tubing. Unlock your eyelet device. Tap the insulin cartridge icon on the home screen of the eyelet. Tap change cartridge and tubing. Make sure your eyelet is disconnected from your body. You should always be disconnected from your eyelet when changing your cartridge and infusion set. Swipe the rewind slider to the right. The eyelet will rewind the device to prepare for the new cartridge. After the rewind is complete, insert the new filled cartridge into the eyelet. Once the cartridge is inserted, insert the eyelet connect into the eyelet. Your eyelet connect has one flat side. Insert the eyelet connect with this flat side facing the outside of the eyelet. Push the eyelet connect all the way in so it is flat against the eyelet. Once the eyelet connect is all the way in, push and turn the eyelet connect a quarter turn to the right, so the flat side of the eyelet connect is now flush with the front screen of the eyelet. When the eyelet connect is installed, tap Go to Fill Tubing. Do not insert your infusion set yet. You must be disconnected from your infusion set before you fill the tubing. Tap and hold the press and hold button to begin filling your tubing with insulin. Hold the press and hold button until you see drops of insulin appear at the end of the tubing. Tap yes if you see drops at the end of the tubing. Tapping no will take you back to the press and hold screen so you can continue filling the tubing with insulin until you see drops. Tap yes that you need to insert your infusion set. To insert your infusion set, first clean the site on your body with an alcohol swab. 
Remove the adhesive backing from the infusion set. Pinch the plastic circle on the back of the infusion set to make a small handle. Gently twist the needle guard off the needle. Pinch the skin and insert the infusion set at a 90 degree angle. Push gently on the center of the circle and rub the adhesive around the circle to help secure the infusion set. Next, you are going to put the anchor in place. Remove the adhesive backing and gently place the anchor on your skin. Rub around the adhesive to help secure the anchor. Unlock your eyelet device. Tap next to confirm you have inserted your infusion set. The contact detach uses a steel cannula. Select the steel cannula and 6mm cannula length. Swipe the fill slider to the right to record your infusion set change. This will not deliver extra insulin because the contact detach does not have a cannula that needs to be filled. It will log the infusion set change and will rewind when it is time to change your infusion set again. When you have completed the process, your eyelet will automatically resume insulin delivery. Remember to stay safe on your eyelet during your cartridge and infusion set change. Disconnect from your eyelet at your infusion site base on your body whenever you are changing the cartridge or filling the tubing. Rewind the eyelet before you insert the cartridge. Insert the cartridge before you attach the eyelet connect.